Good morning. Plan of attack today is to take the subway station to the train station, which will then take us an hour and a half to get to the ancient city of Ayutthaya. We're doing it as a day trip. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I figured it was better to stay here, base ourselves in Bangkok, and just head up there for the day. Shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> gazillion dollars cheaper than we thought it was gonna be. Sure was. We read online that it was supposed to be, I think it was 165 baht, and it was 20 per piece, <laughs> so 40 total. Um, so this day's gonna be a lot cheaper than we read online, which is always a plus. From here, we're gonna try and, instead of walking across the bridge or hiring a tuk-tuk, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the riverside, <laughs> see if we can catch a little ferry. And then on the other side of the ferry is where the cheaper bike rentals are. So we're gonna ride bikes all day. All right, this temple complex is huge so it is it while it is walkable it wouldn't be a very fun day in the heat so we're gonna ride bikes we're gonna make our way through town into this area the one that we really want to see is this guy over here so it should take all day yeah it should take a while let's get started okay are these ours okay <laughs> thank you Okay. Alright, little history lesson for you. Ayutthaya was the second capital of Thailand after Sukhothai, but it was taken over by the Burmese in the 18th century, and now it's just ruins. And it's huge. It's huge. Like Huge. if you look at this map, there's over, I don't even know, there's got to be like 50 temples at least. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Alright, cover yourself up you little... <laughs> yeah. First up, Wat Mahatat. Mahatat. Specific language to use here, this is a stupa. This is a Buddha image. This is a prong. This is a pedestal. And this is a wall. I wouldn't have known that. Maybe I would have. Buddha pedestals? Is that the right term? I think so. But now that's all that's left is basically just like these rounded cubes.
Nothing to see here. All right, on to the next one. Temple number two, Wat Racha Barana. Oh, he's got a sneeze coming. Oh, uh-oh. Please don't puke. Please don't puke. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Hi. <laughs> this temple is kind of the second temple on everyone's trek for the day. It has a fifth the amount of people. <laughs> it's way more beautiful in terms of everything is more intact. You can climb really high on some of the temples, which is really cool, just because yeah. you can see the other ones in the distance. I like this one. Yeah, I feel like the further away you go from the main one, the better off you are. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Let's keep going. <laughs> we also found out that it is apparently a holiday, so all of the temples that were supposed to be 100 baht together each time we went in, it's free. So, so I'm splurging with the coffee at lunch. I might do some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> this is me doing my happy dance. I have a craft of iced Thai coffee. Oh, and look at this cute little decoration. It's a fish. One of my new favorite dishes here in Thailand is just, it's called an omelet and rice, and it's literally just like a fried egg omelet with rice, and you put chili sauce on it, it is so good. Here it is. So good. That omelet was so oily I forgot, fried. I forgot to mention, it's like a deep fried omelet, which is why it's so good. Yeah, it ain't no Denny's omelet. Ooh, that was good. All right, temple number three. Yep. All right, we just arrived to temple number three. <laughs> Which is Wat Fra Sisan Pet. Pet. Okay. Pet. <laughs> we'll never get it right. Uh, no. What, we give it. Whatever. It's pretty. <laughs> so, when planning your trip to Southeast Asia, I think it's pretty confusing when you're looking at places to go. It's like, do you come to Ayutthaya? Do you go to Angkor Wat in Cambodia? We have officially. My son in Vietnam. Oh, my son in Vietnam. We've been to all three. And the real answer is they're just different. I mean, I would say that Angkor is more impressive in terms of size. There are temples that reach for kilometers and kilometers and kilometers. And the stones that they used are like massive. So the, the architecture is very different. But it was initially built as a Hindu temple complex, whereas this one was built as a Buddhist temple complex. So the difference is in Angkor and Cambodia, you don't have Buddha heads and Buddha statues all around here, they're everywhere. And there's stupas here. It's just, it's different. It's different. It's so not many, better. So many people say, well, what's better? Where should I go? And it's like, don't prioritize them. You should see them all. Yeah. If, if your schedule allows. It's probably easier said than done, but they're all really unique and cool in their own way. And no matter where you go, it's hot as. <laughs> we have sweat <laughs> dripping down. Mama yeah, let's get out of the sun. <laughs> So 
now we are going all the way across the river to the temple that we want to see most. This one's going to take some effort to get to and I also don't really know where I'm going so uh, sit tight. Yep, go around the roundabout and then go right. Yep. Okay, we made it to our fourth temple. Wat Chai Wantanaram. Wantanaram. I don't, I think we're both wrong, but it's- Wantanaram. We found one that's not free. <laughs> Just kidding. It's really beautiful, so I'll pay $3. What do you think? I really like this one. It's cool. 